guys, welcome back to the Old Phone channel. Today, we're gonna talk about DFU mode. I'm going to break this down into three parts. What DFU mode is, how to enter it, and how to exit it. I'll be using an iPhone X for this demo, but the same steps work for iPhone 8 and newer models. What is DFU mode? DFU stands for Device Firmware Update. It's the deepest kind of restore you can do on an iPhone. Basically, it reloads every single line of code and puts your iPhone back to factory fresh condition. But here's the catch. DFU Restore will erase everything on your phone. So make sure to back up your data first. You can use iCloud or iTunes, but honestly, I recommend Old Phone because it's way faster than just one click. And just so you know, DFU mode doesn't bypass iCloud activation lock. So only use it on devices you actually own. How to enter DFU mode. Connect your iPhone to your computer. Press and release volume up. Press and release volume down. Hold the side button until the screen goes black. Keep holding the side button and then also hold volume down for about five seconds. Release the side button, but keep holding volume down until your computer detects the iPhone. If your screen stays completely black in iTunes or Finder pops up, congrats, you're in DFU mode. But if you see the Apple logo or recovery screen, it didn't work. Just try again. Once your computer detects the device, click restore iPhone and wait for the process to finish. How to exit DFU mode. Don't wanna restore? No problem. You can exit DFU mode with a quick force restart. Press volume up, volume down. Then hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. That's it. Now, if all those button combos sound like a headache, here's the easy way. With Alt Phone iOS system repair, you can enter and exit DFU mode with just one click. It's super beginner friendly, and besides DFU, it can also help you back up your phone and even transfer data to another device. I've dropped the download link in the description. Go check it out. That's all for today. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more iOS tips and fixes. See you next time.